When I talk about first person shooters, the likes of Unreal Tournament, Quake, Doom and more recently Battlefield Bad Company 2 are first in line as some of the best to ever grace the genre. After spending multiple hours with the latest fast paced online shooter from Gears of War creator Cliff Blazinski, Lawbreakers is certainly doing its best to force its way onto that list. It's a high octane chaotic mix of dynamic character abilities fused with blistering fast paced action not for the faint hearted. Boss Key Productions had a clear plan in mind when it came to Lawbreakers to create a distinctive style with outlandish weapons, inspiring character design and a solid FPS that can challenge the best. Before we get started, let me highlight that this is an unbelievably difficult game to get into when you first start playing. It's a steep learning curve that will take a few hours to get your head around and will undoubtedly take plenty more to master. The first thing that will grab your attention is the speed and velocity velocity, which feels a lot faster than even the most rapid of shooters. Death is frequent and immediate. Your first dozen matches will feel like a repetitive drop kick to the face without getting a moment to get a decent streak going. Every character hosts a primary gun accompanied with a secondary attack. You also get a melee weapon and the ability to send your opponent flying with a powerful kick. The Vanguard's powerful chain gun can feel inaccurate at times, but then it begins to gain focus as you continuously pump your enemies with bullets. My personal favourite at the moment is using the Titan's rocket launcher which works well and as you would expect from launching a rocket at your foes. Then you have the gunslinger who sports two powerful pistols, one is slightly small but a savage rapid spray of lead, the secondary is more of a slow but forceful single shot blaster. Another character I enjoy getting hold of is the battle medic who utilises the fire and forget healing capability. This delegates the job to a support drone that will automatically fly over to a teammate in need to regenerate their health. This leaves your hands free to lob a grenade in the direction of an unsuspecting victim. My main issue with the game is that despite the solid fast paced heart racing gameplay that includes 18 characters to choose from who pack some fun weapons, the actual characters themselves feel quite bland and not too different from the next. The addition of individual dialogue and characteristic personality surely wouldn't have been too difficult to implement. This isn't to say Lawbreakers doesn't pack a punch in other areas. With so many characters to embrace, I feel matches would feel a lot more rewarding if there was a little more individuality. Lawbreakers does build variety though. Through its sharp style of movement, this is where the hardcore FPS players will relish the opportunities of rapid implications. For example, take the Wraith, who accelerates by sliding along the ground to either avoid or approach its enemies, stabbing the air with a knife, enabling him to move forward in low gravity. They also have the ability to triple jump and wall jump, a move set that has given the Wraith a dashing and outlandish movement that is thoroughly enjoyable to master. And whilst you're doing that you'll be mastering Lawbreaker's game modes. There are some great modes on offer here, each with a unique spin on an old school classic. Firstly you have the likes of Overcharge, Uplink and Blitzball. These are all variations of the ever popular Capture the Flag. Blitzball is slightly different, it requires you to snap Snatch and run its sentinel ball through a goal on your opponent's side of the map. You will have to beat the shot clock timer which will reset if the ball spends too long in play. Uplink requires you to seize the uplink module and transport it back to base to upload its data. What is impressive here is that your upload level doesn't reset even after the module has been captured and the opposing team scores, meaning that the losing team will have a fighting chance of a comeback. Overcharge almost reverses this as it pitches two teams to fight over a battery that also charges up at their home base. However, the point is won by the team that keeps the battery until it reaches 100%. Boss Key has been equally creative with the control point domination style modes. Lawbreaker's main draw is in its gameplay. The low level gravity fused together with kick ass combat makes for a rather satisfying, if occasionally frustrating, shooter. Rather than giving you an entire map with standard gravity, Lawbreaker shoves you into anti-gravity territory, meaning you could quite easily go from having a 
full on shoot him up at ground level to get him thrusted up into the air at speeds while still having the same gunfight with the same opponent. It's this verticality moulded with an insane amount of speed that makes Lawbreakers such an exhilarating ride whilst constantly challenging your skills, awareness and the occasional nerve. So here's the verdict. I am thoroughly enjoying my time with Lawbreakers. It's a fresh take on the FPS genre with a slight nod to a time where first person shooters didn't feel repetitive or stale. They were invigorating, rewarding and gave you a bigger rush than any other gaming genre. That's exactly what Lawbreakers has achieved. It's not without some niggling flaws that I'm sure Bosky Productions will identify and look into ways on how to improve them. The fast paced nature of the game with innovative game modes and plenty of characters to experiment with, it's certainly worthy of a place amongst the best first person shooters out there. Will you be on the right side of the blade or the wrong side of a gun? Lawbreakers.